National Headache Awareness Week is underway with the purpose of spreading awareness about the causes and treatment. Dr. Amy Duffy is here. Uh, welcome. Let's start talking about the, the triggers. What I know, is causing we can talk about our headaches? headaches. There's so many different causes, but I would say most common we're seeing dehydration. Mm -hmm. We can't get away with not talking about sleep. And there's a lot of triggers. You know, you're going to have stress. Our head is really heavy. So posture. We're sitting here on our phones. How many people are you constantly Absolutely. seeing? When your head is forward, it's going to cause a lot of strain on your neck, and okay. that can cause some headaches, too. So the weight of our neck, um, exposure to certain foods and chemicals as well, yes. like uh, sprays and sprays, perfumes. Sprays, chemicals, you walk into a building, and immediately okay. you're, you're sensitive to that. So there's a lot of different things that are going to be... Yeah. And, and there might be more than one, you know, yeah. so it can't just be one thing all the time. I mean, okay. paying attention is really important. So many causes. What's causing this headache right yes. now? But when it comes to treatment time, people might, some people might need the pain meds or migraine meds as a short-term yeah. Band-Aid. But you say there's more we can do to, to avoid or at least minimize the severity of headaches, starting with the hydration. What should we yes. know there? So absolutely. I mean, I would say one of the number one causes is dehydration. Mm -hmm. And you see it all the time. We're just not drinking enough water. We talk about it all the time. And whether it's summer months, winter months, it's dry you just got to get more water and you know sometimes we're going to talk about triggers like caffeine but caffeine is going to make you more dehydrated alcohol is going to make you more dehydrated so you've got to follow up with that water and for some people you may want to add some magnesium so there's different things you can take tablets you can put some electrolytes in your water there's even some magnesium oils you can rub on for okay. muscle relaxation so, so magnesium is really good for headaches and and gives us that hydration as well or well, it's going to add to you're going to add it to your hydration okay. so you're you're increasing that relaxation too at the same Makes time sense. i wasn't sure what magnesium yeah. would do for us now better <laughs> sleep keeps the headaches at bay too so yes. what's your so advice again, on better sleep. sleep i mean and this is a catch-22 maybe you're not sleeping because you have a headache so yeah. again you got to think forward and go okay what what are some things i can do differently but Getting adequate sleep is a huge part of that because dehydration and lack of sleep. So when you think about like a hangover, for instance, somebody wakes up with a bad headache, it's not always the alcohol. Sometimes we didn't get enough sleep. We didn't get enough hydration. So, you know, whatever you got to do to help yourself sleep, if you uh. got to put your sleep mask on and just... A little Shut sleep everything mask, out, you know. Good pillow. Make, get some sleep. Sleep isn't a luxury. <laughs> it's what we're supposed to have. Yes. Um, you also bring essential oils because yeah. you said certain oils applied to the temples, the back of your neck can have an impact. Talk yes. about that. So peppermint is really good for headaches, especially if you have those temple headaches. You want to smell them. Yeah. Spicy for that peppermint. And then lavender is just relaxing. So again, mm -hmm. you know, when you're trying to get that good sleep, you know, just lavender anywhere. But putting some pe peppermint right here or on the back of your neck is going to be helpful to. It's kind of like um, when you put muscle rub on, you know, yeah. it, it kind of has that spicy heat cool to it. So it really helps with relieving some headaches too. Yep. The scent is a powerful thing. It's good um, for your sinuses. It'll open that up too for the peppermint. So. Great. We love multi purpose <laughs> remedies. Yeah. Um, because our heads are heavy on our shoulders, you're talking about that. You, you compared it. To a bowling ball, so yeah. good help is so your good head posture is, your really head is matters. Thirteen pounds. So imagine if you're holding a bowling ball and you're forward like this. There's so much pressure on the back of your mm -hmm. neck, and a lot of those headaches are coming for people in the back of their necks. So you want to think about your posture and make sure that you're putting your bowling ball in the middle of your shoulders, so that you know you're not you're not putting so much strain. And another thing you can do is make sure when you're sitting at your desk that you're you have something that's going to help you with your posture. So there's, there's fun like pillows you can use where you're, you're, you know, they're kind of making you sit up a little bit more straight. Okay, so if you sat on that all day, you would be cognizant of, okay, I need to keep yeah. keep level, keep steady. Because, yeah, even just looking at your computer throughout the day, that Sitting neck pain is for real. And it means yep. your head was probably tilted just, yes. just a couple degrees more. Mm -hmm. um, and then finally, certain things that, that cause headaches that we should limit. You know, you, you got into this, but you want to limit those triggers. Yeah. So if you can be aware, I mean, one of the big things you can do is start journaling. You know, if you're having regular headaches, then start thinking about, okay, what did I do the day before? Or what did I eat? What did I get exposed to? Just start writing it down. Awareness is a huge part of that, number one. And then try to think about, you know, if you're having your coffee every day, are you starting to get some withdrawal headache in the afternoon from that caffeine? And rather than drink more caffeine, let's start thinking about backing off on that right. a little bit. Again, caffeine is going to be a diuretic and taking your water away. So at least follow it up with your with your water. Headache awareness, at least, you know, <laughs> be cognizant of why it's happening and yeah. see if you can tackle some solutions. You want to relax, get some exercise, focus on good nutrition. Dr. Always. Amy Duffy, thank you very much. We yep. appreciate it. Thank you. People can find Dr. Amy Duffy at Carolina Integrative Medicine in Clemson, and there is a link to learn more on accesscarolina.com.